Hey gang, this is Avon. Thanks again for um, watching uh, another episode of Economics. This is sort of like economics, but not really. But I want to share with you something today um, that's really poignant to me. It's really, uh, that, that literally it has happened recently. So I always talk about the importance of being on your purpose and the importance of not majoring in minor things. And I want to give you an example that happened to me today. So I had a basketball game earlier, and some of you who know who may be watching this, some of my Facebook friends, I kind of get really intense when it comes to basketball, like really, really intense. You see me in person when I'm not playing basketball. I'm the nicest guy in the world, but when I play basketball uh, that's somewhat competitive, I tend to get really, really intense and really, it's like it's like Jekyll and Hyde, and I don't know why. I just have always, I've always had this chip on my shoulder when I play basketball. But I ended up getting into like a verbal altercation today with one of the opposing uh, team uh, teammates or uh, opposing players. And he said some words that's, that's read me the wrong way and actually has made, it's got me really angry and incensed. And I started just yelling back at him and everything else. And, and I just realized that I got out of state. I just, I wasn't focused on who I was. I, would, I wasn't for a split second. I lost, I was like discombobulated, you know, spiritually and emotionally and where I was. But soon after I came back to center and I started realizing that the people who do well long term in life, tend to not major on minor things. They don't allow themselves to be derailed by stupidity and garbage and people talking about them. They don't get derailed by something crazy happening at work. They don't get derailed about, uh, by something that's happening in the news or some celebrity. They don't get derailed by some stupid TV show or something that has nothing to do with their lives. They don't get derailed by the president. If they, if they don't believe in what he was saying. So say if it's a Democratic president, if they're Republican, they don't, they don't get caught up in that stuff. They don't, I'm not saying don't, doesn't, don't care about these things. What I am saying is you cannot major in minor things. It derails your purpose. If you're in a situation where you have somebody talking about you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Ask yourself this. What does it mean to you for the grand scheme of your life? So what I tend to do is this, and what I, what this is a suggestion I'm going to share with you, something that I always do when it gets really bad, like in a, in a situation where I feel like I'm getting derailed, or a relationship, or friendship, or whatever, or a, a basketball, or something, I write all these things down on a piece of paper, and you could do a multitude of ways. I write it down on a piece of paper, it's kind of cathartic for me, and sometimes I just rip it up into shreds, and there's an emotional, spiritual attachment to that, where I'm releasing that energy. You can either rip it up to shreds, throw it in the garbage. You can go outside and, and set it on fire, let it burn up into embers. Whatever. The result is the same. There's a physiological and spiritual attachment that you're releasing into the atmosphere and into the ozone and, and out of your life. And I, I, I'm asking you to do the same thing. And I'm going to challenge you to think about that and do the same thing. If you're in a situation where you're dealing with people who are, who are talking crazy to you, who, are, who aren't treating you right. You're not in a situation where you're not where, you're not where you are, where you want to be, and you're, you're concerned and you're worried. And you're allowing the minor things to play a role in your long-term vision. I'm challenging you to stop that. I'm challenging you to try this technique. I'm challenging you to refocus. For me, I can, it took me a few minutes just to come back. There are people who are carrying on garbage from the past. They're carrying on uh, someone slighted them, some bad relationship, some bad, ex some bad experience. Somebody said something mean to them. They didn't have a good customer service experience. Somebody they called at Verizon talked crazy or whatever. Or someone at a store talked talk to them uh, in, uh, poorly. And they carry that on for a long period of time. And imagine how much time of your life that you're wasting. Imagine how much emotional and spiritual energy that you're wasting focusing on things that aren't important. Again, that are minor things in the grand scheme of your life, which tends to be major. So again, if you're on your purpose and you have somewhere you want to go in your life and you have a focus, people who are focused create personal boundaries. They don't allow crappy things to, 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 to linger with them because you, you can't control what other people do. They don't major in minor things. They chalk it up to experience, they chalk it up to life, and then they just keep it going. So I want to challenge you to do that and to think about that. And I, I'm really fortunate I was able to share this with you today. Literally, I just came home from playing basketball, and then I was on the drive home. I started thinking about this, and literally, I, 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 I'm happy that I came back to center quickly, but I'm also disappointed that I allowed myself to get derailed the way I did. And every day, I'm trying to get better, and I'm challenging you to do the same thing. I'm challenging you to do the, to think about these things, and you know, as always, chances aren't given, chances are taken. So be bold. Let's have a great week and go get it.